I was very excited when I heard about this government scheme to force utility companies to put everybody on the lowest possible tariff. Our gas bill's gone up again. Seems no matter how much my flatmate shops around, our gas and electricity bills keep going up. Now we live on a street of five houses. We pay £80 a month for our gas and electricity. And spookily, but handily for maths, everybody in this street uses exactly the same amount of gas and electricity. But we're on different tariffs. So the neighbours on this side pay £20 a month less than we do. They pay £60 a month. Their neighbours on the end only pay £20 a month. They're on a great deal. Neighbours on this side pay £20 a month more than us. They're on £100 a month. People on that end are paying a massive £240 a month for their gas and electricity. Suckers! But what this means is I was very excited when I heard about this government scheme to force utility companies to put everybody on the lowest possible tariff. Because on our street, because we spookily use the same amount of gas and electricity, most of us would be better off. We'd be £60 a month better off. The people on this side would be £40 a month better off. The people on this side would be £80 a month better off. The people at the far end would be £220 a month better off. It's only the people at the far end who were already on £20 a month that stay the same. So now all five houses pay £20 a month and everybody's happy possibly the utility companies because now instead of getting what they used to get which was 500 pounds a month from the whole street they're now getting five times 20 they're getting 100 pounds a month i can't see them going for that okay well let's try it a different way instead of putting everyone on the lowest tariff what if we go for the middle tariff which is us because we're conveniently in the middle of a street which has conveniently arranged itself in ascending order of bills so if we pay 80 pounds a month we stay the same now, neighbours on this side pay £20 a month more, but the neighbours on this side pay £20 a month less. People at the end of the street, they're £60 a month worse off because they're now paying the same as us. But the people at the other end are still happy because they're saving £160 a month. So everybody's happy. No. Half the people are happy. Well, half the people are happy, but the utility companies still aren't happy because they're now getting five times what we used to pay five times 80, 400 pounds. So they're still worse off. Okay, how else could we do it? Well, going for the middle value is one way of doing an average. It's called the median. And if you look at household incomes in the UK, they will usually be expressed as the median household income. It's the middle value you'd get if you lined up the entire population of the country from lowest income to the highest income and counted down till you got the middle person. But it's not the only way of working out an average. There's the mean, which is what you get when you go to a restaurant. There's 10 of you, the bill is £190, you say, let's pay £19 each. Or 20 for a tip, if, if the weighting was good. Uh, and that's, that's the average, the mean that you get. You get the same going out as you had before. You've just split it exactly equally between the number of people that are there. So what if we did that with our street? Well, we know how much is going out. It's £500. We know there's five houses, so that's £100 each. So the neighbour on this side is paying the same. We're paying slightly more now. We're paying £20 a month more. Our neighbours are paying £40 a month more. People at the end are now paying £80 a month more than they were. The only people that are happy, the people at the far end, who were paying £240 a month because they've saved £140. The utility companies are happy because get, they've got the same coming in. But most of us have lost out. So how does this help us with our gas bill? The awful truth is it doesn't. Because if everyone was forced to be on the lowest possible tariff, either the utility companies would lose a lot of money or they would simply raise the lowest tariff. So it became the mean tariff. And as we've seen, there's no guarantee that that will mean that most of us are better off. It could mean most of us are worse off. Unfortunately, the only ways that we're all gonna pay less for gas and electricity without the utility companies losing a lot of money is if either we use less gas and electricity or they start to make it cheaper. Okay. Click here to watch more of Number Hub. We will be discussing space travel, gas bills and speeding.